know, it didn't quick update. Got some time between classes, so I don't have school until 2.20, but I got some time to kill. Next class at 10.08, and it's like 9.28, and I have no work, because I finished all the work of that class for the week yesterday. So I figured I'd do you guys a quick update. 1.10 sitting here, and, well, I feel like I can't fix it today. I'll make a phone call then, because I, this thing, uh, decided to wear the belt so thin it wouldn't, spin the blades so I took it off ran a deer 30 bucks there I got the proper belt I would go to O'Reilly's to get it but I don't know I just I can go to John Deere I had the part number I can get me the part I need and just run back home simple bought it last week on Thursday haven't put it in yet but that's what the 110 needs need a bath because this guy is going on winter duty at the shop as for this one wheel horse she is going downstairs in the shed underneath our deck we have finally erected a small plastic shed so miss oliver and deer's tractor she really well it's not hers but it's still mine but she really likes this tractor a lot more than i do look at that 6 old power stroke but i do more to drive this tractor more I like it it's just an unrefined version of the big green machine over here same engines and that's why I love this machine it's got the same it's got the same color engine just a little bit older Arian's is here she needs no work done to her never had to do any major work to this tractor at all but I think I might be selling it this coming spring my grandparents are moving they're moving on to a association they don't need their big GX335 anymore so next summer I'm going to take ownership of that I'd love to keep this old girl but might be time to send her to a new home. And I do love this tractor though. I mean, it's served me well since 2015. Literally no problems at all. I just change oil, grease it every once in a while. Just runs a new set of blades in it. Some aerators there. Did an aerating job a couple weeks ago. Dethatchers. I actually got a dethatching of a cell if anyone's interested. It's a little bit smaller than that one. So if anyone's interested, get a hold of me. There's my new sweeper I bought. My other one that's. It is in my tr big black bastard. It is on the outside of my big black trailer. That one, if anyone wants it, it's free. Come get the damn thing. It's not worth anything to anyone. It's got some issues with it. I mean, it works. I've used the crap out of it, and it still functions. I redid the wheels in it, like the gearing and whatnot, so I could come out of alignment because I use it so much. And I rebuilt that again for the third time this year. So it's good to go for probably another good half the season. The wheel horse had the deck off and that last week. I had the deck off the Arians too and I had the deck off this one to fix the belt. Well here's why I figured it out because I took this belt and I put it on the pulley backwards and if you put it on backwards there's a pulley belt right here at rest spot. If you guys can see that. But my finger's right there. And if you have it run in reverse that the belt likes to walk up the pulley. Like right here would be the center of the pulley. And it'll walk up and shoot off because there's so much tension on it. It did that and I tore it all apart and looked down. That belt is like that thick and it's supposed to be like that. She wore it. I don't know if there's a bent pulley. In. I've looked at all the pulleys, they seem fine. I think it's just the setup of it wears them out. But she's had little to no problems. The only thing I have problems with is the clutch every once in a while doesn't want to work. Like there's a pulley here for the transmission to release the tension off of it and it wants to hit right here. Yeah, at times you'd push it the wrong way. So when this winter, when it goes to the shop, I'm probably going to rip the fender pan off of it and see if I can figure that out. I don't know if I'll be able to because since everyone knows I got the blade for the front end over off that 112 I sold. I did keep it because the reason why I bought that 112 is not for the, tra the tractors and added bonus. I just wanted the blade. The blade's in decent shape. I mean, it's not bad. It's original condition. The bars on it right, is right there. The 112 is an added pain in my ass because that's all it was. It was a royal pain in the ass since the second week I owned it. What do you do? Sold it. Got rid of it. That's all. I mean, offer was 100 bucks. The guy gave me 200. I said, take it. Load him back to the pickup truck and I got it out of there. Not bad. So that's going on the 110 this winter. 
I'm just going to dad's shop to plow in front of the bays and the sidewalk on the shop because we can get the plow truck in front of the bays. It's time consuming and you gotta be really careful about it. Makes more sense bring this thing up there and just a couple passes here and they're done, call it, call her a day. And I just wanna plow snow with this damn thing. I haven't really used the blade at all. Dad's got my trailblazer because there's issues. He doesn't like taking fuel at the gas station. It's a valve in there that's bad somewhere and he took that to fix it. I mean, I'd do it, my, me and him would do it ourselves, but I gotta work this weekend for John and he ain't gonna be able to fix it this weekend. So he took it today and I was saying, well, you're not working on how are you gonna call yourself a mechanic? It's easier for the two of us if he just takes it to work and works on it during his lunch or something. Easier for us that way, easier on him. He doesn't have to worry about it. Now I gotta worry about it. So if I need to go anywhere, I got his truck. And with all the new car you keep putting on the road in his truck's way, I scratch that into the side of his truck. Also, I'm gonna make a video here probably later this week going up to John's and I'll post that in a month or two because it's kind of controversial. So I'll do that and people that are close to me like my friends, Miss Oliver and Deer, my parents know what I'm talking about. I don't French but I don't want me filming it but that's what I'm gonna upload a couple months later. So got the old workbench out of the shed, my grandparents shed gone. It's living here, we gotta get their toolbox out, out here yet too. That's getting hauled away on Saturday to get fixed about time. About time today. I'm actually going to set that guy up. Seeing I can't really fix this bastard today. I might take the time and hook it up to the rear end of the wheel horse and get it, see if I need to set, how much setting up it needs. Cause it ran off an LX 155. That's what it was towed behind and I think this guy sits a little higher than an LX. It's either going on, it's, well, I know I'm probably getting rid of that one. It's going on this guy. Gives him Miss or something, just Miss Oliver or something to do when she comes over here when she's not swamped with schoolwork. She's way smarter than I'll ever be, guys. She uses her brain. I just know how to use my hands working on blue collar. I like working with my hands on jobs, landscaping, farming, stuff like that is easy for me. Sitting at a desk job, I'll go insane. But deck's cleaned up, deck's cleaned up, needs to get cleaned out. I'm not going to clean that out until I need to, to put the belt in it. And it is cold outside. Just dad's a push more, did some work on it. I need to get spark plugs for that thing. And air filter. But I got a new surround sound for the shop. Oh, well, not the shop, the garage. <clears throat> I've been waiting for this thing for a good while. This is a bump box. So it's basically, if you guys remember, if you're older like my dad is, in the 80s, had those boom boxes you throw on your shoulder. That's what this is a Bluetooth boom box. And if anyone knows the Moonshine Bandits, I think Ed Goslin listens to them the odd time. I think he does. This is their speaker they have. And I paid a decent amount of money for this thing. It's a limited edition. If you guys want one, you better get one soon. This thing weighs probably 15 pounds. Comes with a microphone or a TV remote. Geez, loud. Rattle of windows in the house. So screw putting hanging speakers up in the corners of the garage. Just set that thing up somewhere. It's not going to get ruined. The reason why I say not get ruined because I paid 400 bucks for this thing. Came from California. They're good speakers, I'll tell you that much. As much as I've used it, I use this thing an awful lot. My dad thought it was a waste of money, but once the, my friends heard it and they fell in love with this darn, this darn thing, so when they have get togethers, they always call, they're calling me now. They can you bring that with you? We need some good music. Because it's clarity. I don't care what music you listen to, you can scan. Radio waves with it, listen to your favorite radio station, Bluetooth, you can plug in a SD card of music or USB device to it. If you like guitars, you can plug a guitar into it. You can use it as an amp. That thing is nice. I got a 10% discount code off on it. That base price and is with free shipping is $399. So 400 bucks for this thing, and it's, I'd say it's worth the money. I like my music. Everyone knows that little black speaker that sat there for a long time. Everyone saw that. Time to upgrade. Worked hard all summer long, and I wanted to get something that I've wanted for a while, and I've been wanting that thing all summer. So I'll save up and upgrade my vehicle.
to a truck I want a three quarter I want a three quarter time pickup. But fall's closing in, that means I got fall cleanup jobs coming, so videos of one, two and three running and maybe four, a little push more. That's not mine though. Three tractors and everything hanging on that wall, that's implement sweeper, spreader, the aerator, cedar. That to thatch, that weed whacker is mean dad's project and needs to get rebuilt. Jesus Christ. There, squeaky brakes. We got that to work on and Matthew's three wheeler. That needs to get fixed. Put a 400 bucks on that thing last fall and it only ran for about a month and it quit running. It's not locked up, it's something to do with the CVI or something like that. So, I don't know if someone says you should turn it into a quad. No. Those things, they're dangerous, yes, but they're hella fun. I love it. I call it a man tricycle. It's what it really is. But, work for John this weekend. I'd afraid I'd do a quick update video so you guys have something to watch besides John's equipment running around. So I'll do that, and you guys might get a video of me setting that thing up later today. I'm going to upload this right away. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy the update and what's going on. A lot of other stuff is happening. So, catch you guys in the next video. I know I haven't made videos in a while because I've been really busy between school and helping out with my family and the Mrs. and Miss Oliver's family. Them with the landscape project they got going on. So, I'm over there quite a bit working on that with them. So, I'd worked landscape all summer, so I put my knowledge really to use. Anyways, catch you guys on the next one, which will probably either be on that sweeper at John's place, moving or that raking hay, or doing whatever. You never know when you go work for John. It's just he's a really nice guy to work for. I always enjoy working for him. Anyways, catch you.